Hey folks, Paul from uh, Easy Acres Homestead and uh, just wanted to show you some of the uh, hand-powered manually operated drills that I have. Uh, if you're anything like me, and I know I am, and you're broke or uh, somebody broke into your truck when you were living in town and stole your nice DeWalt, you know, 18 volt drill, or excuse me, 20 volt drill, um, you, you, need to, you need to make holes to, to build shit, you know, excuse me. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you don't necessarily need power tools to do that. So I was uh, kind of going through some of my stuff and I just wanted to show you a, sort of an arrangement of some of the manually operated uh, hand drills that I have. So, you know, like most tools, these manually op operated drills, excuse me, um, they, they're best for their specific applications. Uh, the ones that I find myself using the most are going to be this one here. This is uh, manufactured by Fiskars, actually made in America. I got this at a Goodwill, I believe. And uh, I use this one for, you know, most of my larger drill kind of pilot holes. And it's, you know, relatively easy to operate. As you can see, you got to put even pressure on it. These things are not easy to use if you're in, you know, odd tight quarters or, you know, at an odd angle or anything like that, which you do find yourself doing sometimes. You just have to be patient with it, but, you know, they, they work reasonably well. Um, uh, this is the one I generally find myself using the most. Uh, it, this is a, a this is a craftsman again made in America. A friend of mine, Rob, gave this to me. One of my friends in Salem, very kind of him. Um, and uh, kind of same principle. I like that it has two different kind of handles on it, and this top handle is pretty neat. Check this out. It unscrews, and you can store extra drill bits in there. Ain't that something? But uh, it's also a little heavier, which seems to help it kind of get purchase on the on the work and you know, drill a cleaner hole. And if it's more comfortable for you, you can hold it from here too. But yeah, I like this one a lot. Uh, another drill that I use a lot, it's actually an auger, but um, I picked this up at an estate sale uh, in town uh, last summer and I got it ridiculously cheap uh, with like a coffee can full of bits too. Uh, these things are amazing. Um, I use this when I'm working with you know, natural sort of timber, if I'm uh, using pins or something like that, because it just makes a beautiful, nice hole. <clears throat> relatively, cl oops, relatively clean along the edges too. Um, you know, this, these things are great. And you know, the batteries will never die, the motor will never burn out. It takes very little maintenance to keep them going. You just put a little drop of oil on there. Um, and the final one I wanted to show you is, uh, this is what's known as a pump drill. Uh, I got into these when I was uh, making guitars because when you do uh, head stocks and stuff like that, sometimes you're drilling really tiny holes for the screws that hold on the tuners. Um, and this is what a lot of luthiers will use for that. So inside here, really cool, spring loaded. And uh, you can see the drill bits in there. Pump drill bits are somewhat unique. They are double fluted because it cuts on both axes of how it turns and in, in, in other words it, it it will drill a hole each time it moves which is interesting most drill bits will only cut one direction but uh, these are double fluted bits and uh, they're really cool because they, they're just kind of quick change like that in this particular one oh excuse me this is a stanley um, made in america too i believe i got this one on ebay years and years years ago but um yeah you just pump up and down and it drills a nice little hole for you. These are great for quick pilot holes. Um, when I framed my cabin, I used this quite a bit just to put the pilot holes in real quick because you can just walk, walk around and pump little holes. So there are a lot of options if you don't have power tools. Um, and uh, if you do, they do break down sometimes. I, I certainly recommend picking these up if you're at an estate sale or if you happen to see one in Goodwill or something. Uh, just an excellent option to have. Thanks very much. Uh, hope you all have been well. Y'all take it easy.